Good luck now, they scoop. Yeah, winning. And they scoop. They scoop! What? <laughs> what? <gasps> what? 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 Come on, what was that? You had to, what? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. You look tired, bro. Yes, I have slept like two hours tonight. I'm very grateful that today is my day off and I don't have to stream. I'm still like, oh, jeez, Louise. How can you only sleep two hours? But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, thank you also very much for tuning in. Live streams will be back tomorrow. Or if you're watching this on the 6th, today there's a live stream or there was a live stream, depending on when. It's, it's complicated. Time travel. Just way too complicated. Also, we are still on our way to 30 freaking K, so if you haven't done so already, smash that button. We're getting closer and closer every single day. And I'm very darn grateful, so thank you also very freaking much. But it up with the Yammerin. Where is the right thing? Let's get it to the, oh no, fish hammering. We're playing Merfolk today. We're playing Merfolk and oh my lord. One card, catapults Merfolk. From, eh, it's okay to, oh my lord, how are you even supposed to do anything about this? And that card is the new card, where is it? Forensic Researcher Dog. Shut up, I'm working here. Hey, I'm Italian, I'm allowed to do it. So, Forensic Researcher, untap another target permanent. Or you collect evidence 3 and tap a creature you don't control. So you can always get through with the last bit of damage. But, what is, the dogs are screaming, I'll be back. All right, had to close the door real quick so you don't hear a dog screaming because they will just stop and shut up very soon. I hope you can't hear him. <laughs> so, forensic researcher, just uh, amazing. So, um, why is this so amazing? Because of another card that was introduced in the last set, the Deep Root Pilgrimage. My lord, they're loud and persistent. Uh, whenever one or more non-token merfolk you control become tapped, create a 1-1 one, one blue merfolk creature token with hexproof. Yes, you had that right. Whenever one or more non-token merfolk you control become tapped, you create a merfolk with hexproof. Why is that so good? Well, if you have two of those, what are you going to do? Well, you tap one of them. However, you're going to do that. There's multiple ways just by, for example, attacking in using the subterranean scooter to just screw them and uh, crew, not screw, I, I don't know, I just trust the sides. And then you untap the other one, and then you untap the other one. So one untaps this one by tapping and tapping and tapping and tapping and tap, 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 tap. And then you have a million little uh, deep root pilgrimage tokens. And you do that, you know, you just make a million little deep root pilgrimage tokens. They want to wipe the board, they can't. They literally can't. Because they have the Vodalian Hex Catcher. No matter how much mana they have, you can just counter every non-creature spell. Uh, and they have to pay one mana to counter that counter, but you just have a million little Merfolk that you can just sacrifice. I mean, it's evil. It's super evil. Just, you know, you're, you're just throwing away your newborns just into the pits of fire. But it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. So that is what we're doing here. We're just protecting ourselves forever, and it is absolutely freaking unfair. This also, by the way, gives other Merfolks plus one plus one. So yeah, these will all be tutus now with hexproof, and they're living counter spells. They're like living mini spell pierces, or whatever. And talking about spell pierce, we also running six counter spells with three make disappear and three spell pierces, and the rest is a lot of Merfolk. That is also why we're playing the Cavern of Souls. So and um. All of these beautiful lands, and we also have two restless wine socks because it's a very good final freaking attacker. We have four fading hopes because we need to establish our game plan against aggro until we get down our stuff. And uh, this is also very good if, like, for example, you want to protect your creatures, you can return it to your hand, which is very darn nice. So, Tishana's Tide Binder. Um, 
Very, very good card. You can target any any effect with this and just stifle it. Stifle, if you're into magic, means that you just prevent them from doing the thing. They search for a land, you can stifle that. You want to activate a land, you can stifle that. You want to activate the ability of a planeswalker or a creature, gets activated automatically, you stifle it. For example, Sheldred. You draw a card, you should lose the life. You play the Tishana's Tidebinder. Now Sheldred cannot drain you anymore. And the best part is, if you target an artifact creature or planeswalker with this, they lose all abilities altogether. So, a Sheldred, for example, just turns into a 4 5 for 4 with nothing else. That's it. No keywords, no abilities, no nothing. Just in case you didn't know. And this has flash, of course, because otherwise it would just not work at all. So that is very darn freaking nice. So, that is like our counter spell freaking lineup. We have the C Note Scout as an early game. We have the Subterranean Schooner to attack in with the damage. A Vodana Hex Culture, we already talked about it. Nikon Zil, the current conductor. Whenever creature you control explores, if it's a land, you put a land on the battlefield. If not, you put an additional counter on Nikon Zil. So that is very darn freaking good. Sentinel, a 3 mana 3 4, just by itself. Very good. But with Vigilance, a thousand times better. Making you map tokens every single turn. Now it's a creature that you put, should put in your standard deck. And uh, that is it. That is the whole game plan. Just prevent them from doing anything until you get the Forensic Researcher out. Get your freaking Deep Root Pilgrimage. And even if you don't have both of them and you just make a token every turn, you know, that is still good. If you have two Deep Root Pilgrimage, get out of here. Game is over. You won. GG. Thanks for playing. And trust me, for some reason, everybody scooped. The thing goes to very freaking much as is, oh no, not the fish. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those fish market games. Yo, look, it's me, Malone, twice, double Malone. I like that, me too. All right, opponent's going first here. Do not like that too much, but it is what it is. Did I put in the Hex Catcher? I don't even know anymore. I hope I did. I hope I didn't miss that. Okay. A lot of land here. A lot of freaking land here. Are you here, opponent? I like how everybody is super slow playing today. Like, what is- Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Only lands activated. Only lands activated. Once more. Alright, what are they doing? Rex in Arena. We are attacking in here. We don't have the Fading Hope for the worst case. We will see if there will be a worst case. Shadred sucks, but it's still okay. Especially like this, you know? Especially like this. Okay, I mean, these just, you know, pay for themselves so we can just do this. Yeah, that is right. That is the Shana's Tidebinder for you, my friend. That is absolutely right. Okay, all right. Not gaining the life here. Just not gaining the freaking life here. Beautiful. They are prepared against aggro, eh? But I am prepared against your freaking um, shad right here. So, let us see how we can turn this out. Let us just counter that ability, because we can. Simply because we can.
I mean, the countering still happens. But that is kind of fine with me. Ooh, super good here. Super good here. All right. Schooner is here. Schooner or later. Another land. Okay, I mean, hey, you know. We didn't draw a lot of lands for the longest freaking time. So, hey. <laughs> so, hey. <laughs> They're still losing a lot of life here. I enjoy that. Must say, huge fan. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Yo, come on. Three of them, really? Just simply three of them? Okay, why not? Why the heck not? <gasps> if this can survive... We are the luckiest freaking person in the known universe. And if it can't, we do have another one. Okay, all right. If they have a board wipe here, I will be very disappointed in you, game. <laughs> if they have a board wipe here, I will be very, very disappointed here, game. Very much disappointment will ensure if we go up against a board wipe here. No, but it's just Shelly. All right. And gigs. All right. Drawing here. This not having haste kind of sucks, but hey. No attacks here. We're starting to do the stuff now. We're starting to do the stuff. Next turn we just overrun him with an army of freaking little one ones. It's going to be gorgeous. Aglazotst. Okay. All right. Are you attacking in though? You're not. Okay, here comes the Merfolk army. So here's the Voldaren Hex Catcher now. And now we're safe forever because they can never do anything ever again. And we're passing the turn? Question mark. Now we have the loop. I won't be attacking in. I want to make a million freaking, like, little dudes here. That is what I want to do. Okay. I mean, eh? Tough luck, Buttercup. Toughest luck is Buttercupist. I want to make a million little dudes before I attack in. That is the plan. Just a million little dudes. And then... We will see what they do. Yeah, okay. Play another Phyrexian Arena that won't save you. <laughs> that won't save you either. Okay. They're attacking it with Agla's odds here. They're going back to 17. And we win. And we win. Just easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. Okay, I didn't push this. So let's do this now. 
Tapping you. Untapping you. Untapping you. <laughs> Untapping you. <laughs> oh, what a joy. How many more can we make? I don't know. Until the timer tells us to stop. We will do this until the freaking timer tells us to stop. Yo, get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, man. All right. Okay. But they sadly don't have haste. <laughs> they sadly don't have haste. <laughs> but I think we will have enough soon, right? I think we will have enough soon. Yo, this is madness. This is something I wanted to do since day one. Since day one. And I never came around to do it. And here we are now. Here we freaking are now. We still have two timeouts, so let's do this. I mean, look. <laughs> Just imagine we would have had two deep row pilgrimages. Just imagine that. Just imagine that madness. Okay, we tortured our opponent good long enough. They scooped. <laughs> they had to accept. That there was nothing they could have done here. Trying to defeat a master of mono black with mono black. I did have fun. I did have fun. All right, we're up against Charlie. Mm -hmm. Freaking vampires. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus. Okay, let's do this. Let's play this first. We do have the fading hope, so there might be a good reason, you know. Like, just getting rid of this straight up. No temple for you, my friend. Yes, I want that. I absolutely want that. Okay. Let us see what they're doing here. Playing another warden. I mean, once again, the warden. And the Voldead and Apicurio. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Do it! Do it! Perfect. Freaking perfect. So I can do this now. If I draw another land, it would be amazing. Yo, Adam! I'm good, how about you? We had a very unsuccessful day with a lot of decks today, but uh, now we're here. Now we're here doing shenaniganery. Ending the turn. Literally no reason to do anything here. More leaders call. Not exactly what you hoped would happen, right? Not exactly what you hoped would happen here. You know, that was pretty good if you ask me. But you shouldn't, don't ask me. I'm not telling you anything. Another fading Oh, why not, you know? Why not at this point? Why freaking not at this point? Why not another fading hope? All right. Why not another fading hope at this point? Next turn, I can even play the Forensic Researcher, which is pretty darn good. Yo, Jacopo, I will. I will. Yeah, what are you doing? I literally, what are you doing? I can just do this over and over again, like forever. Can't you read cards? Opponent can't read cards. They're just, they just don't want to read cards. They just don't want to. Uh, yes, I would like that. Thank you very much. But first of all, I'm doing this. So, who's the aggro deck now? Who is the aggro deck now? It is me, Malone. If we find another researcher, we're cooking, my friends. We're absolutely cooking. Absolutely cooking. All right, here's the inspector gadget. Doing good? That's good to hear. I like to hear that. Putting on bottom, all right. The Sentinel of the Nameless City. Now we'll be attacking in with these. 
Yes, they can block one of them. But we're just overrunning them real good here. They're not even blocking. They're not even freaking blocking. Okay. Well, you do you, my friend. You will come to regret it. You will absolutely come to regret it. Another Epicure, okay. But they really run like these two war leader cards. That is crazy to me. Okay. You have the Knight Errand of Eos now. I would be surprised if they didn't, you know. Would just be very much surprised if they didn't. But we're still looking good here. I mean, you know. We can just... I don't know what your problem is, bro. But you're not doing that. Like, literally not freaking doing that. <laughs> what did you think would happen here? Like, in all honesty, what did you think would happen? Did I just let that happen? Did I just say, yo, why not do it? Just Dusk Rose Reliquary me. There's no reason for you not to do it, you know? Just ra Dusk Rose Reliquary me. Absolutely alright with me. You can do that. You can go ahead and do that. They're just tapping even more stuff here. They're crazy. They're absolutely crazy. They're absolutely crazy, man. Poor Boros schmuck. Yeah. <laughs> they all scoop to the power of the freaking merfolk. Oh my lord. Get out of here, Boros. We're tired of you. We're tired of you. We're up against JB Taro! <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I really like the hand here. I really freaking do like the hand here. Okay. Mono red now. Alright. So we do have the make disappear, which is pretty good here. Oh, they're not borrow uh, mono red. Okay. Alright. Let's try to make this survive, shall we? If it dies, it dies. Oh! Okay. Alright. Okay. All of this is still fine with me. Like, my board is looking pretty good. Aqua Malone Arc, yes. <laughs> Here it is. Aqua Malone, indeed. Alright. Should have played the Druid first, but hey, accidents happen. Accidents freaking happen. Uh, Merfolk, of course. Putting it on to you. I don't really need it. Let's slam in here. Like, there's literally no reason not to slam in here. We are kind of winning this. I was just about to say, we're kind of... What is going on? This is Merfolk. How are we winning three games in a row with Merfolk? Was I wrong? Was fish good? Fish nice? Fish nice. Fish is too OP. Too OP. I can just ban the fish. <gasps> I thought I was going first, but I'm not. Okay. All right. So we will see what we're up against. We do have two make disappears here, which is nice. Please don't be aggro. Please don't be aggro. Please don't be aggro. Please don't be aggro. Oh, they're not aggro. Okay. Or oh, they're cookies or something like that. It's true, I should hydrate. <sighs> Alright. We are getting slightly screwed with Lance here once more. Yo, number one Charlie, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I really, really appreciate it. That ain't going to happen. Let's start our aggression here. 
Let us start our regret. I told you it's cookies. I told you. I told you. Alrighty. Ginger brooding it up. Alright. Alright. I mean, I can counter that. I kind of don't want to, though. Yo, game! Would we please, like, not have all the lands in the known freaking universe? That would be kind of you. That would be pretty freaking kind of you. Not even lying here. Maybe we can find another forensic researcher here. It's another land. <laughs> the game is clowning now. <laughs> the game is absolutely clowning now, man. Absolutely clowning now. Like, come on, man. Really, game. Really. Freaking seven lands in the first 12. Seven in the first 12. You don't have to do that game. You don't have to, you know? Yeah, we're super dads over here. Super dead zone. Yeah, the shuffler said three always good enough. You're right. Yeah, it was good enough. Until now, it was good enough, you know? Like, we will be losing to this flying shoe. <laughs> that is what we're losing against. <laughs> we will just be losing to this flying freaking shoe, man. That is just what is up. All right? Yeah, there is nothing I can do. Yeah, I mean, the shoe just absolutely storms the fish, you know? Look! In the same amount of cards, they have seen five lands. I have seen eight. I know because, you know? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I need to use the Ottawara here now. I mean, at least it's an Ottawara, you know? At least we got that going for us. But I'm still not happy about it. No, sir. No, sir. So, what do we get here? Could you please, like, play the game? <laughs> Oh, I have nothing to do, but you know what I would like to do? Just nothing. Just do nothing, you know? Just absolutely do nothing. All right, ending the turn here. We're still somewhat alive. I don't know how we are still alive, but we are still alive. And that is kind of all I care for. Ginger Brute is a huge freaking problem, though. An absolute massive problem. The most massive problem ever. Yeah, we're dead zone next turn. That is all there is to. That is all there is to. I mean, this might survive, but then what, you know? What? <laughs> what? <gasps> what? 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 Come on, what was that? You had to, what? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> no business winning this game and they just scoop and now we're up against Ganyatron. Buffalo soldier. All right, we're going first. Crimus, fishy Crimus. I would keep this. Felt bad for me that you should never. Literally should never. Oh look, it's mono red. At least we're not, you know, going sec uh, first. Uh, at least they're not going first. Okay, all right. So we will see what they're doing here. I don't like that. I don't like that one singular bit. Can 
we risk it, I think we can. The next turn we will have the Hex Catcher. They have a Lightning Strike here though, that would be bad. Very bad. Nah, they have it, of course. But I mean, hey, you know, that is still kind of fine. And a Monster Roll. Play with fire. Okay, we're, we're still kind of alright here, you know? We're still kind of alright here. We're, we're absolutely not alright here. We're absolutely not alright. <laughs> absolutely not alright here. But I cannot counter that, can I? No, I can't. But I can do this. So that is already very good. Good fish. So we're a little bit screwed with this hand. Like, uh, we really need something here. Godric ain't gonna happen, my friend. Ain't gonna happen. No Godric for you. No soup for you. Come back. One year. They don't even have the monster roll. Oh, well, now they have it, though. Now they have the monster roll. But they're taking the land? And shooting my... Re no, they're not doing anything. Here. Okay. <gasps> amazing. Freaking amazing. Still pretty amazing. They're just attacking in. What a non-surprise. Uh, yes, I would like that. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I would like that as well. Thank you very much. We are cooking here. And we were still very much in danger. Don't get me wrong. But we are cooking here. We are freaking cooking here. That is not cast. Oh, it is cast. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. They're just... They're so mono red. I cannot believe how mono red they are. I just cannot believe how mono red they are. How can you be this mono red? How can you be this mono red? Like how? How are you this mono red? How are you this absolutely mono red here? Okay, all right. Just absolutely amazing. Does this take care of... I don't want to take the damage. I just don't want to. Are you attacking him with a burb? Just attacking him with a little burb? You're not even attacking him with a burb. Why? <laughs> Why are you not attacking him with burb? Oh, okay. Do we have enough here? We do, right? <gasps> I cannot pay for it, though. And they scoop. Everybody scoops, man! Every single person scooped! 5 to 0 with fish! 
against Mono Red. We beat them all. We beat Boros. We beat Mono Red. We beat Mono Black. We beat freaking Cookies because they just committed Sudoku here. And that is all right. I like it. I like it. Everybody scoops. Welcome to the world where this is normal. There's our opponent doing this. Whatever this is. So they're even holding priority after they discarded? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? How is that allowed? They already discarded some. Oh, they were mulliganing. They were mulliganing? Yo, that is mad. That is absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. So, it only took him like one hour to get here. Only one single hour to get here. But they arrived. They arrived nevertheless. Isn't that beautiful? So we have two spell pierces, two fading hopes, Tishana's Tidebinder. Let us see if we can, um, we can do something. They're once again not here. So yeah, maybe they are across the street in a 7-Eleven. Down by the 7-Eleven, folks cried, someone said he died. But I know Joe didn't go to heaven, no. He was looking for trouble. What happens if we do this? Beautiful, wasn't it? Let's attack in. We don't have the fading up, so yeah. We can protect our sentinel. Getting rid of their creature here on board is pretty good. Not even lying about it. So! Jace? I wouldn't like you to have a Jace, to be honest. Would be cool if you didn't have a Jace here. Alright, we're playing a little bit late back here. The land, okay. Bringing in the Forensic Researcher now. Like, we can still use the Fading Hope. We still have another freaking... Uh, go for the throat. Let's return this to our hand then. I mean, if they want to use all of their stuff, you know? Okay, alright. Yeah, that is fine with me. I mean, it's not fine with me, but you can do that. Oh, and a cut down. And a cut down. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so we're a little bit screwed now. Ever so slightly, they have a land though. We have another fading hope. Just another freaking fading hope, okay. We're doing this now. Okay. Nikanzul is pretty good, Nikanzil. Nikanzulinho? Another land? Yo, game. Relax. 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 <laughs> Relax. <laughs> you don't have to give me six in the first... Uh, you know, that, that is a lot of lands. That is a lot of lands you're giving me here. Alright. Fading your hope away. Fade the hope away. Fade the hope away. Nope. Thank you. Appreciate it. But that is enough lands. Alright, so we can start attacking in here now. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> so, what you got here? If they're just attacking in with this, I'm absolutely fine with that. But I still want to return it to their hand. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes winning is just easy. Deep Room Pilgrimage? Yes! Yes, please! I want that! I want that! Boom, 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 boom! We're waiting, Lord Board, Lord Boom a Croom. I don't know what that name is, but you are just doomed. 
Beautiful. Yo, how's it going, Decipher? I did it. I read your name. It's Decipher. I don't like you doing that. I would appreciate if you weren't. And that is how you win. That is how you win. After somebody lets you wait for two and a half minutes, that is what they deserve. Nothing more, nothing less. Just getting slapped by fish. That is right, get slapped by fish. We're up against the Huff. Yeah, it is a super fun deck indeed. It is, oh my lord, Krimus. Yes, Krimus. The absolute Krimus. And I like the hand, you know, having a Schooner into freaking Sentinel is always good. Always good. It's our opponent here. And once more, it's crazy how slow playing people are today. That is madness to me. Absolute madness. If we're doing one or two more games and then I will straight up leave. Just straight up leave. I've been streaming for seven hours now already. And uh, yeah, I will just hope that on the um, sixth I will be able to... Uh, Record a video super early and cut the stream maybe a little bit short. We will see about that. But like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Why do people make us wait a minute before we can even play the game? Why is that a thing? So they're full on bolas. Look at them. I don't know. Oh, look, it's another Demir deck. Hello. Hello. That is three Demir decks in a row. I honestly don't know. Like... Close enough, I guess, maybe? Oh, it's not even Demir. Okay, alright. Well, whatever you do here, I can just Fading Hope it. Yo, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Kinda makes sense that they did this. Alright, passing the turn here still. Too many bats! The bats are up! Returning the bat now. Uh, I don't want that, no, thank you. Uh, Merfolk, of course. Good thing I threw away the land, eh? Good thing I threw it away. <laughs> Good thing I did. Um, not really right now. I would need something better. Should have done this before. Yo, game. Yo, game. Yo, game. Are you mad? Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun game. Fun game. Absolutely fun little game we have here. Well, at least we got that going for us, you know? At least we got freaking that going on for us. Uh, Merfolk, okay. Yo, Zora Clementis, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Another schooner? Not really. So, they don't know about my make disappear. I mean, would it really help me using it here? I don't think it would. I just don't think it would. And now removal. I mean, come on, game. At least give me something that resembles a chance, you know? Well, there it is. There's the resemblance of a chance. Oops. Shut up, man. Shut up. Just literally shut up. <laughs> literally shut up. Maybe they oops because they didn't attack. Yes, I want that. Thank you very much. Alright. I think they oops because they didn't attack. I mean, that wasn't that smart, you know? Fairy Mastermind. Okay. Instant speed Fairy Mastermind. Weird, but okay. Weird, but okay. So, let's do this now.
do this now. Please no land. Just as I expected. What is with my mouse? <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? That was amazing. Another land. Okay, all right. Let's go. Let's go, lands. Let's go, lands. <laughs> Let's go land. Let's go land. Well, I don't know about that. Forensic researcher is good here. <gasps> they also found a land. They also finally found a freaking land. Oh my. I will not block this. What am I mad? You have a freaking Ottawa, a uh, freaking, uh, you know, something here. That I don't know what his name is anymore. You cannot fool me. He's a researcher now. Let's use this boat here. You can't make this up, man. You can't make this up. You just can't make it up anymore. This is madness. This is Sparta. Okay. Absolute Sparta, man. Please no land. Please don't be a land. Whatever you do, don't be a land. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> it will forever be land. Wedding announcement? Okay. Still just attacking in with everything here. I am blocking here like this. They really want to draw that card, eh? They have another Danik. Do I actually care about that? Yo, game! You are kind of going crazy right now. Kind of freaking going crazy right now, and I really, really don't appreciate that. I really, really don't freaking appreciate that. There is no need for this aggression. None whatsoever. What even is this, man? Like, could I please stop drawing lands here? Yes, I want that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jesus freaking Christ, man. <laughs> Jesus freaking Christ, man. Okay. All right. Fine with me still. Might have been a freaking mistake though. I don't know about that. They do win with the Anchorage now. Well, I mean, then there's nothing I can do about it. And there's like literally nothing I can do about it. Literally nothing. But I will try my best here. I will try my best. They have to block with the Anchorage. Unless they have another Wandering Emperor, you know? They scoop! We did it! Freaking did it, man! And how we did it! After we drew all the lads, it was good in the end because we could use him! Oh my lord! Oh! My lord! We're done! No more fish today! How much is the fish? So yeah, there will be my new children's book! Everybody scoops! 
uh, to teach children that it's not, you know, the worst thing to scoop. <laughs> that it's just perfectly fine, normal thing to do when you live in. Yeah, I mean, that cookie game, we were all wondering what the heck was going on. Some people suggested maybe the pizza arrived, maybe, I don't know, their, their mom called and they had to hang up. Uh, they had to hang up, they had to end the game, maybe whatever, you know, whatever it is, I don't care. I won. I had no business winning that game. Absolutely none whatsoever. But I won. And that is all that matters in the end. Nobody will come to your house and ask you, how did you win? And you will just say, hey, it doesn't even matter. I won. By the way, you want some cookies? Here they are. Freshly baked out of the scoop from my opponent. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I slept two hours. Leave Maloney alone. I will be back tomorrow with the live stream. If you are still here, please put a little Maloney researcher down in the comments. I would appreciate it very freaking much. And, my friends, huge shout out to all of these people on this beautiful list. And all of these people at Ultimate Guard that's sponsoring the show. Thank you all so very freaking much. And remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, then all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.